Hey folks, Whip here, starting another hardcore video right in front of our lovely castle because it is absolutely amazing, and I love it so very much. Thank you all so very much for the support on this series so far. We are on episode 24, my friends, and if you're still watching at this point, make sure you check that subscribe button down below, okay? And leave a like on the video because next episode, my friends, there will be a brand new world download available for all of the supporters, so thank you all so very much for that. But, of course, before that world download comes out, we've got a lot of work to be doing around here. I've got a big plan for today's episode. I want to get the entire landscaping done on the front of the castle, at least around to that corner at the back right over there if we can, because I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So there's a lot of digging that's got to happen down here and everything like that. But before we get into that point, there are a few fields that I would love to work on and actually an adventure I'd love to go on today. We might die, but that's okay because, yeah, if I die, I don't have to finish that whole thing. Then I don't have a lot of less blocks I need to place. You know, it's great. Kidding. I don't want this series to end. Trust me, loving the build. But what I want to do over here is spend a little bit of time working on getting the fields all the way out to the point here. And I think we'll build a little bridge to get ourselves over to that island. A lot of people were saying we should build a lighthouse on that island over there. And I think adding the tower there, the castle back there, we got the windmill up here and a little lighthouse structure or something out there could be super duper cool and it would go in very well with the buoy that is our AFK point for the slime farm. But as mentioned, it is also adventuring time today, my friends. There are a lot of guardian temples out here, or ocean monuments as they might be called, that we could steal a lot of sponges from, and that might be able to help us out with a few future projects. So I think today would be an absolutely awesome time to go raid some ocean monuments, get some gold blocks, and do all that stuff. So without any further ado, let's go find those things. I'll be honest, it's been a little while since we spoke last, and I had a genius idea in between a mining a bunch of blocks over here, and that as well. We should probably bring some underwater breathing potions with us, because otherwise things could get a little spicy. So headed to the top of the wizard tower, I'm really hoping there are some bottles ready to go up here so we can just brew these things up straight from the get-go. And there's bottles, is there water? Yes, I was smart about this one. First goes the nether wart, and then we do a puffer fish, and then we do redstone. I've got my armor out here ready to go so we can swap into that as soon as we're down. I'm thinking right now, we'll just throw these on. Nah, nope, nope, no, I'm not risking that. I'm not risking a creeper for now, but there we go. We got the water bringing potions and let's head off to find that dump. Now we can actually leave. Oh, look at the lovely village of burning drowns all the way over here. Oh, how we doing, everybody? We've been here before. Nice to see you all again. Buried treasure map. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we might be taking a little bit of a break here. I'm not sure if we've explored this one or not. Well, we're going to find out here really quick if there's any treasure out of here already. Looks like no. Oh, fun. I will take a bunch of free iron and some food and a heart of the sea. Love it. Now we were going for blocks of gold, so don't mind if I do. Back on track, ocean monument time. Finally make it past all of the glaciers here and there. I think I see one. No, that's just another drowned structure underground. Okay, well, false alarm. Nope, there it is, right there. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready to dive, 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 dive. Take the potion as we are ready. Water breathing is down. Elytra off, chest piece on, and go, 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 go. We are in, we're not invisible, but we are in Oh my gosh, we're in the temple. I think this is all the way up to the top. Perfect. Oh, there's the Elder Guardian already. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm here to fight you. Yep, I'm taking you out. Give me the sponges, please. Finally, there he's gone. Okay, we got one sponge right there. Yes, we did. Okay, this is about to be the quickest Guardian Temple run of your life. Okay, I'm lost. I've never seen this room before, but that's fine. Definitely not lost. Check it out right here. Number two. Okay, we'll take that guy. Hi, how you doing? Come on over here. Oh, we got to do some running. We got to do some running. Okay, maybe a little bit of running. These guys still really hurt. Even full netherite, full protection four. Oh, they're painful. He just hit me for three hearts. We killed him. We killed him, but he hit me for so many hearts. There's the sponge. Give me the sponge and just get out. Go this way. Go this way. Quickly, quickly around the corner. Okay. The best part is, is once you get to the side, you can just take this thing all the way around. There is number three right over here. We've made it, my friends, doing a little loop-de-loop -loop around and then bam, didn't expect anything. Okay. And then we go down. And we do the loop. We're back at him. We're back at him. We're back at him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was so smooth. That is all three of them. <laughs> okay. Well, we fought every boss in Minecraft now. I think we've uh, we've officially beat hardcore. Okay. Cool. End of the series. Bye. Just kidding. Because there's a gold room inside of here. We can keep the series going just for the gold. How long until we can break things? Two and a half minutes. Time to swim for two and a half minutes. I spent the whole time swimming around here trying to find a sponge room to no luck at all, so that's a big bummer, but we can at least get this stuff here in another 38 seconds, and I gotta keep running. There we go, it's almost off. Yes, we can start digging. Thank you, thank you, inside to get all of the gold. 
And with that, we are completely done with this temple. All right, time to get out of here. Nope, nope, actually, I think it's up this way, right? Yes? Yes? Down and out and run. Oh, God. Lots of running, lots of running. Okay, we're getting out of here. It's even nighttime. Dolphin, please. Dolphin, I need your grace. Please, 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 Dolphin. Dolphin, please. Thank you, and we're gone. I will be honest with y'all, I was expecting to get a few more sponges out of there, so I think I'm gonna try and find another temple around here that we can just fly through super fast. We still got two more potions of water breathing, and there's another temple right there. Okay, well, that's easy enough. We can do the same thing yet again, drinking the new water breathing potion there to refresh it. Flop that guy off, put in everything on, and we go. I missed it. Okay, we're back here. We're at the front. The armor is on. Let's go. <gasps> sponge room! Sponge room! Amazing! Yes, 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 yes! And guardian effect. Ah, oh, this scares me every time. Every time. Here we go, Mr. Elder Guardian. How you doing, buddy? Yep, I'm gonna just run over here. Yeah, nice. And swimming all the way around. Okay. Sweeping around to the second side now. We gotta take this dude out and make it all the way to the top. But there he is down at the bottom. And we're doing little loops around. There's so many of them. Oh, it's scary. I don't like this. I don't like when all I can see on my screen is guardian beams. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, run, 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 run. No, 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 no. Okay, this is uh, still scary. Still scary. We might have been the other ones. This is always a new boss. There we go. He's out. He's out. He's done. Okay, break all those, break all those. Flip breaker of guardian chains. And that is five sponges for us, and let's get all the way to the top. We've made it back into the sponge room, or it might be a second one, and I am completely lost. Okay, I'm starting to think there might not be a way all the way up there. I cannot find it for the life of me. This is what I've resorted to to see if there's even something on top. Really hoping it's not another block. The big reveal coming now. Please don't zap me out of the block. I need to break it. Please. Okay, I think we made it. I think we made it. <gasps> we did. Oh, perfect. Now I got to figure out the simple way that I could have went when I go right down that tunnel. But first, I deal with you. And he's out. Perfect. Okay, where could I have went? I broke the block right up here when I could have just went right around here and apparently up. How did I miss that? But what I did not miss is this sponge room right up here that we can now get. And I didn't bring a hoe. Oh, I should have one in here. Yes. 37 wet sponges. I love it. And there's even some more gold in here we can grab. That's a pretty successful haul for me here, my friends. So if we can survive our way out of here, I think it's time we head on home. Now, I don't do this because I want to. I do this because I have to. The most satisfying sound in Minecraft. If you didn't know, you can dry your sponges in the nether and it is absolutely amazing. No need to cook them anymore. You just drop them down in here, they're all set. I'm gonna go ahead and store all of the sponges inside here with all of our tools and everything, just so I know that I have them on hand if we need them in the future. And water breathing potion. Yeah, let's keep that in here on us. But my friends, I'll tell you what, I'm in the mood to get some building on. We've done a lot of adventuring today and I think some building would be absolutely amazing. So out here, I think it's time that we turn this into a lovely little montage and finish the farmland on this here peninsula.
Step one is now done and out of the way over here, and it is looking fantastic in this area. I love this new little wheat field over here. That nether wart field is so much larger, so we actually have a good supply of the stuff now. Added a few more trees in around the area. Oh, it's looking so good. We've got bridges to build, though, my friends, we need a bridge right over here going off that way, and then we also need a bridge getting ourselves all the way out here. I'm not really too sure on what I want to do for the lighthouse quite yet. I think it's going to be an awesome idea if somebody can tackle in the future. But I think today we go with a little bit of a different course of what I mentioned at the beginning. If we get this bridge sorted, because I've always wanted one here, the, the road currently abruptly ends literally at the end of the water. And I grew up playing Oregon Trail, and I know you don't cross the water when there's no bridge or no raft to take you across. I figured we could slow things down here just a touch and do a little bit of building on a cam because why the heck not? I thought it'd be a really fun idea. So I've got a bunch of random junk here in my inventory and a loose idea of what I want this bridge to look like. Let's make up a bunch of stairs over here. And the goal that I'm going for on this one, just so we can get the line in here, is I want to have three and then we're going to work in threes going with a slight angled bridge. And if we do five sections, because that'll make it super easy to have a large middle one right up there, that'll be super duper cool. And we can get all the way over to just the edge here. We can do a little terraforming as we might need. Who knows? We'll pick it up from there. But then we come over this way. I'm thinking we move three blocks back here and we do the same thing. Just stutter stepped over a block going backwards. Now, I think everything we're going to be doing out here is going to be mimicked onto the far side, just rotating it and slapping it right back down. And I think it'd be super duper cool. So if we bring this guy all the way down here, start a little bit of an archway for ourselves and maybe bring this up throughout here. And what if we did just to help round it a touch more right in there? I don't really care if it shows the wood or whatever we're using on the inside. I think we're going to do the spruce planks right in here. And then we could come around this side and then maybe get rid of this and add another archway in or something. And taking this one all the way back down underneath, we can really strengthen those out a lot as we need to make them a little wider as they're going down probably. But for now, I think I'm okay with this. That's not a bad little arch. We have one right there. We have one right here. And we have the third one right on the far side. And I think we will have to definitely figure out a way that we can extend that train out a little bit further there. But it's okay for now. We'll figure it out as we're walking. I think I want to get some stone brick walls in here that we can work with those guys. Because right in here, if we do some full blocks to run this out even further on the top, you can bring a wall in there and it looks like a vertical slab almost of sorts. I think that's pretty cool. Then maybe right here we extend it coming all the way downwards as well, just so it makes that a little bit thicker instead of that harsh transition moving back a step there. I think that could work. Now, I am in love with Deep Slate right now. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So my thought was we could bring in some Deep Slate as well as some lanterns and uh, funny enough, some warp trap doors back here because I think they could work really well with all of this. Just that Deep Slate color with the warp color. I don't know. I kind of like it. But adding some stairs with some lanterns up here and then we can maybe bring this guy all the way across right like in here. And if I counted correctly, we can bring it right back down on this far side. I think I did. Perfect. Okay, I love that. That's going to work out really well. Let's see what it looks like from actually, you know, the water side. Not half bad. Not half bad. We just need to get a lot of spruce slabs in there so we can actually have, you know, a bridge to walk on. So let's start by bringing it up pretty quickly here so it gets above that empty airline that we have down below. So maybe we do something right in here. And then we can have that final layer all the way up at the top. And I don't think that'll mess with the walls. All right, I got the top of the other side caught up so that I can really make sure I'm mimicking this correctly because I want to make sure the wood that is copied right over here is the same that we have right over here. And that is pretty much perfect. And since we're just missing those, let's just bring that up to the slab level as well. It, it's fine. It's fine. Seriously, guys, I'm just trying to build a bridge over here. Not you all again. They have been so active in this world recently. Holy cow, they've been a huge pain in the butt. All right, they won't leave me alone. That's it. It's battle in time. There's a cow on the hill. We are totally fine. Let's just take him out from a distance, though. There we go. And another banner for the cave. Nom, 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 nom. And cleaned. The second side is all caught up and it's looking really cool, but I think what can really make this place stand out even more is maybe adding in some of our castle banners to the edges, which could be really fun. And then on top of that, I was thinking we could and maybe bring in a little bit of mossy stone brick and crack stone brick and really just decorating this thing out. So I'll get that finished up. Another banner to the wall is now looking sufficiently aged around here. And of course, we've got to add some banners on it. I'm thinking we just go with like one and two 
and three, and a four. Right over there. That is a good looking bridge. Now, my friends, as we're inside of a flower, I, I'm happy with that. It's simple. It's easy to get across. It gets us across the river, and I think it does a good job. I added some trapdoors up here as well, but I might get rid of that guy and that guy, just so we have a little bit of an extra lip, and maybe we just put them all the way along here. That could work out. Yeah, I like that. It gives us an extra little bit of a lip and rounding off the top of it, and actually mob proofs the whole thing, so that's great, because I think in the middle here, the lanterns were not quite region. I'll tell y'all what though, folks, we are at that unfortunate point where all of my tools are almost busted. I'm waiting a little bit longer on the bow before I actually combine it with a new one, since we have a limited number of times we can do that. So off to the lovely Mooshland we go. Time for some villager trading to repair all these tools, and if that doesn't get us all the way up, we'll sit at the spider farm. How are we looking on the old pumpkin and melon count over here? I don't think it's gonna be that good. No, no it's not, okay. Well, I kinda need to get all these farms running for a little while just cause I haven't been AFKing in the area at all cause uh, the sugar cane even it's starting to run a little low. So I'll tell y'all what, I'ma sit here AFK for probably like half hour, 40 minutes, get everything repaired up and then we'll get back to working on some stuff. But I think it's castle time everybody. Nova agrees in the back there. It's time my friends, we are on day 706 inside of this world. It's time to move up to the good food of the golden carrots in here. Oh my gosh, we've been living with so many dang emeralds. Look at that, I've got over two stacks of blocks of them again, ready to rock in here. So I think finally, it's time to do this. And you know what it's also time to do? It's time to get to terraform in that dang castle. And we are getting ready for a massive time lapse here, where my friends, I want to dig this entire area down inside of here, all the way down to the water level so we can have it being a little bit flooded. So we need to take everything down to 63 to get ourselves started. And I wanna make it so that the only way to access the castle is via this front gate right here. We're gonna be digging it down all the way throughout this entire area. So this entire section down here is going to be dug down and I wanna make it pretty expansive and pretty large. So grabbing a little bit of cobblestone around here is we can start snaking this out. And the goal is to make a giant blobby shape of sorts and extending everything all the way around over here. The end goal is to have a bunch of really cool sea cliffs and everything like that stretching across this entire area. So if we bring it all the way around over here for now, and let's give ourselves what? One, two, and three blocks off of the corner. So we have a few blocks of space to be working with. Maybe we expand this out a bit further. I've got a rough idea in here now of where I want the entire place to be going downwards. So we fly all the way up here. The goal I think is going to be taking everything within this cobblestone border straight down to 63. And then I actually want to change the entire terraforming blocks that we're using. Previously, we had the stone in here, right? Not a big fan of that one. I'm thinking we can make it look absolutely amazing by using the new deep slate blocks and that contrast in here versus everything up there. And they'll also make the stone brick in the castle pop even more. So my friends, as you can tell, we've got a heck of a lot of work to be doing today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old fashioned time lapse mode. Here it is, my friends. Holy cow, this took forever to do, but we've got it done and it's looking fantastic, except we still need to get a lot of the sand down here and everything like that sorted out. And I would really love to get my hands on some dead coral blocks as well as some of the fans because I think that could be really, really cool as a transitionary block. I'm thinking the dead brain coral at the base here could be really cool. And I wanna incorporate a lot more of the tough and come back and actually mess up the deep slate a good amount more here too, which is the textures having that top texture being a lot more apparent in the tippity tops of these cliffways. But what I do have on me for now is some coarse dirt as well as some smooth sandstone, which we can start out. 
You can see over here, I've kind of started doing a little bit of a way for us to walk down to the base here, which I thought was pretty cool. And I wanted to add in a lot of this coarse dirt, making it feel like it's hard for a lot of the grass down here to be growing up and everything like that, because the sea, when it comes in, my thought is that the bottom of this area at high tide would be completely flooded. So maybe it's like the waves are lipping and lapping all the way up here. We've got some buttons. We've got some pressure plates. We can start just decorating this area out a little bit more. I don't want to do all that much right now because a lot of this stuff is I'm actually working on streams because it's been super duper fun. But I think we can start to get a little bit more detail in this area, maybe like even right over here. We expand all this stuff out and add a little bit of extra dirt to break up the base as if we just do sand across this entire area. I think it's going to be a little boring. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to use rooted dirt for this, but uh, getting any decent amount of rooted dirt to make that happen, currently not super obtainable for us. But even just little decorations like that along the base here can be so fun. I'm pretty sure my brain stopped working halfway through that clip with how I was stumbling over everything. But check that out in there. It looks fantastic now with a little bit of extra detail on the base. And I'm thinking what we can focus on for now, moving up here, is I really want to decorate out underneath where we have the castle. We got all of this area down here, and I think we can bring in some of the azalea bushes. We can bring in a few more sweet berries, maybe some jungle leaves, and I want to do a few small trees along it too, because I want to make this area look like it's at a time of peace. And maybe the really value beauty, seeing as we have a lot of the things hanging down all over the place. We got the beautiful banners everywhere. And on the inside, we've got leaves like a crazy because I just love to decorate with them. So it works out very, very well. But I'm thinking on the outside, maybe they allow some like smaller spindly trees, basically the types of trees that we're using all the way over at our base over there to grow up along the edge here. So you can still see the castle, but they've just got a few trees in front of them. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time getting those things in here. Spent a little bit of time gathering up a bunch of azalea leaves and got together a few other ones over here. And to get ourselves started, I've got some fences that we're going to be using for the base of the trees. As I mentioned, I want these to feel a little on the smaller side. So I figure we don't need to go too big with the trunk. If we were to do something like full blocks, I feel like it'd just be like, oh God, that is a giant tree. And these are all gonna be something that if they needed to in times of war, cause you know, medieval times, I'm pretty sure you could see an army walking from all the way over there and to move thousands of people. You could probably have a few guys run outside real quick and chop the trees down, it'd be fine. It is Minecraft after all, you could do it in like 10 seconds. But I'm thinking we go one of the dark oak guys with the spruce leaves right up there. And then coming down this way, we can add a few more cool ones in and maybe we could have one with the Oh, I guess the ones with the birch leaves, I was doing granite walls. Okay, I have to go get some of those real fast. I thought it was spruce fences. Regardless though, I'm trying to make these really small and I don't know how the granite's gonna work against this wall since you know there's granite right there. But let's go ahead and make one of these really tiny ones with the acacia coming up right to here. So it's gonna be right literally to the edge or right below the ramparts. So it's still, you can see over the top and see the castle. I don't wanna hide any parts of the castle with this. I just wanna add to the atmosphere. So I'm thinking we could do another one right in there of that guy. Then we could do another one of these little sprucey ones right over in here. That could be super cool. And then maybe all the way down here at the base is where we can incorporate one of the granite with the birch leaves. If you're trying to lay out foliage that you're building or forest or whatever it is that you might be doing, well, you're probably insane like me, but then anyways, this is the way to do it. Just put up the trunks of where everything's gonna go. And then you can actually see if it'll make sense because we got, that's kind of a grouping of two right there. We got a grouping of three and that'll be totally fine. And then we need to come over here. I'm thinking that's a good spot for a tree. And then we can maybe have one or two more uh, closer to the stables building itself. This should do it over here as well. We've got three more trees in there. We've got two more right in here. And then we've got just the one guy right over there. So it's kind of a one, two and a three situation going on. But I think it's going to look super cool. Let me uh, get all the leaves on. Three, two, one. First few trees are in over here with the two spruces and the birch guy over there. And it is looking so good. I'm really loving this. We got to fix up these cliffs still. But overall, this is really, really cool. One thing I wanted to say as the reason why I'm doing the trees first, if I haven't mentioned already, is because, well, trees usually take up the most amount of space. So inside of Minecraft, you want to be able to plan for every big thing that you're going to incorporate first, and then you can come back in later and fill in the small details wherever it might make sense, as in everything else that we're going to be doing is just like ground foliage stuff, so it's okay to not have it out here. And I'm trying to make these trees extra small compared to the actual versions so that we're standing over there. It'll look like the same size of tree, but because it's so much smaller and just that kind of tricking it with the scale of how far we are, it'll actually make the castle look taller from a larger distance away and make it even look farther away. 
away for her. And there it is. Trees are in place going all the way around the front of the castle, and I think it looks fantastic. Next up is I've got a bunch of the azalea and the flowering azalea over here and a few mossy carpets so we can spawn proof some spots. Of course, can't forget about the sweet berries as well. So we got a lot of different options that we can use around here. And I think I want to get rid of the jungle leaves I have on the front of this one so we can make it more unique in front of the castle just having the azalea since we're using the jungle wood or the jungle leaves pretty much everywhere else. I really love that we have the mossy carpets that we can use now so I can leave flatter grass patches and not worry about mob spawning. It's going to be amazing. Now, one thing I did want to try is how would it look if we started having some of the leaves actually hanging over the edges? Not half bad. I think we got to be careful about how heavy we go with it. And that right there, I don't like being a flat line, but y'all get the idea. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time getting this stuff in here and then we can see as the final result. Well, of stage two, at least. With a little bit of bush and now some added gorse dirt right above my head there. This place is looking amazing. Oh my gosh, everybody. It's fantastic. Grabbing some rockets over here so we can fly in a sec. I decided to add these strips of coarse dirt throughout here so you can see one right there. You can see I came back and added one right throughout there just to break things up so it wasn't that consistent green grass going across the entire thing of it but it is looking magical. I love this. This transformation today alone, I think has been some of the best work we've been able to do on the castle the entire time. We'd even place a block on the castle itself. It's all been the landscaping around it. I forgot to do the bushes down there. I actually definitely totally meant to do that because you can see the difference of that versus everything else that we have in there and just the difference in the wow factor that we are getting out of this build here. So let me get these guys down super fast. The terraforming on this side is definitely not done because I want to actually build these structures out first before we figure out what the cliffs are gonna be looking like. I'm really loving this idea of building from the top down, of building the castle itself and then coming back and being like, you know what? What else can we put in here that'll make it look super cool for the terrain? Quick stop over at the other side. However, you can see everything in here too. I left this section a little bit more on the blank side since we have a lot of the coarse dirt and if everything is full of bushes everywhere it's going to feel boring so having that difference in the quantities so we have a lot of bush a lot of bush a little bush flying all the way over to the orange house itself we can see what we're looking at right here and oh my gosh that view of the castle right there my friends holy cow it's looking absolutely fan fantastic but that my friends is gonna have to do it for today's episode when this video is out i'm actually gonna be out of town for a few days headed over to montana for a family member's wedding so hopefully we'll actually have an empire's episode out this saturday as well but i'll be back early next week and get rocking on everything from there but thank y'all so very much for watching please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy today's episode it helps me out a bunch so i really do appreciate it and if you're brand new and still watching this point in time my friends please be sure to click that subscribe button would be absolutely awesome to have you here we are so close to 600 000 subscribers and remember episode 25 world download will be available for all of the supporters like the ranks that i mentioned at the beginning of the video here but without any further ado my friends i will catch you on the flip side